Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus 20, today verses 22 to 26, and let us carry right on. Here they are. Then the Lord said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, You yourselves have seen that I have spoken to you from heaven. You shall not make other gods besides me, gods of silver or gods of gold. You shall not make for yourselves. You shall make an altar of earth for me, and you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen. In every place where I cause my name to be remembered, I will come to you and bless you. If you make an altar of stone for me, you shall not build it of cut stones, for if you wield your tool on it, you will profane it, and you will not go up by steps to my altar so that your nakedness will not be exposed on it. Now, there's a great danger, a very great danger, and here it is repeated. The second commandment about the idol idolatry and all that, the second commandment is repeated here. Uh, you know, no gods before him, no idols, and it's kind of like, I'm, I'm talking about all, all the Ten Commandments still. He has sort of given us those first one or two to kind of get us, make sure we're still in that mode of thought. And then he says, look, don't, don't bow down to those. Uh, when you worship me, you know, this is how you're going to do it. You know, you're going to make offerings to me. This, you do this, you don't do that. And they're laid out here. And then it's kind of interesting here about this ramp. If you make an altar to me, uh, you will not use tools on it. It's going to be put together without being in. So this would keep them, if they if they use tools, they would be uh, perhaps inclined to uh, carve in images along the side, maybe images of angels or images of snakes or something that would become an idol or whatever. And so God is just taking that, they're just taking that, you know, away. That's not, that's not even going to be in the realm of things to do here. Uh, we're not, we're not going to, that's not going to be in the realm of things to do. Uh, we're, there's no images. You make an altar, it's going to be very simple. And it's actually going to be like a ramp to walk up on so that their nakedness is not exposed. And in some of these different religions, uh, it was actually common that the priests, uh, the people who are engaged in doing the different rituals would be uh, just plain naked. And uh, in God's case, though, the, the monotheistic God, the Bi God of Scripture, the God of the Bible, the Christian Bible, Special provision is clearly made here that the priests are going to have their their parts covered. They're going to be they're not going to be naked. They will go up very carefully. There is not going to be any sudden step to go up, and maybe we will see you know the priest's bottom or something. That's not going to happen. God wants His worship to not have any of that distraction in it, and He wants us to remember you know that He's God and He's holy, and so He's going to keep us in the right mode here. So interesting piece here, how God's worship is going to be very different from some of the different pagan worship happening round about. God always kind of brings us up higher morally. He's got more of a blessing for us there. Of course, the fake gods are not concerned about morality, right? They're, they're busy being fake gods. They, they are nothing. And so you would expect that there's going to be modifications and things that are all uh, destructive and counterproductive to morality and good ethics. So anyway, interesting business here as we finish chapter 20 and tomorrow on into chapter 21. And lots of interesting stuff. You've heard about slavery and how the Hebrew thing on slavery was all just ridiculous and evil and the Hebrews practiced slavery. Come back the next few mornings and let's look right at it in chapter 21 and see what actually is taught and what actually isn't taught here. You might be surprised. See you tomorrow morning.